Hey everyone! Uh, some Disney toys here. And today we're bringing you another treat using the Zoku Slush and Shake Maker. Last time we made a milkshake, this time we're going to make a slush. If you haven't seen the milkshake video, you should check it out. Here's the front of the box and the ingredients we'll be using to make our slush. The sides of the box show different examples of what we can make. Here's the back of the box. It shows us how to create healthy slushies and milkshakes in as little as 7 minutes using these three easy steps. Let's get started! We'll start by opening the box and seeing what's inside. I'm so excited to make our slush! First we have our red cup. It comes with an inner core that I've left in the freezer overnight and an outer sleeve to keep your hands from getting cold. It comes with one scraper spoon. And here are the instructions. It shows you everything that comes with the box and how to make your slush or shake. Time for the fun part! We're going to start by using our juice to fill up to the top line. I'm going to use Kern's Peach Nectar. Write in the comments what kind of juice you guys would use. We just pour it up until it hits the top line. I'm also going to add these cut strawberries. You can add different types of fruit inside, or just add them on top. I'm just going to put the strawberries in here. That looks good. And give it a quick stir. We'll let the cup sit for a minute or two, and then begin to scrape down the sides. As the sides freeze, you should hear this crunching noise. That's when you know it's working. Can't wait to try our slush! You can see that the sides are beginning to freeze. We continue this process until it reaches the desired consistency you want. You just keep pressing down the sides. Let me know in the comments what kind of fruit you guys would mix in. This makes for the perfect after school treat. It's yummy and healthy. Doesn't this look really good? This looks just about finished. How good does that look? Let's just add a strawberry on top and it's all done. Let me know in the comments what kind of toppings you would put on top. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below.